everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, my name is Gabby and today I am back with a perfume sample video where obviously I test some perfume samples um, perfumes that are very popular or perfumes that like nobody talks about and they're actually very very good so we got in here I think 12 perfumes that we're gonna talk about uh, I tested all of them on my skin, this is the first time when I'm gonna smell them on paper and for some of them I looked up for the notes but just a while ago but for most of them I have no idea what, what the notes are so I'm basically just gonna tell you what I think about them it's not necessarily a first impression because yes I tested them on my skin and I can't really tell you about the projection I can tell you about the projection but not about the lasting power more exactly because they're just samples like uh, how many times can you wear a sample do you know what I mean so yeah that's that if you like this video don't forget give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and let's see what samples I got in here and what perfumes I'm planning to buy because yes I'm planning to buy more so let's jump in the first one that I got in here and this one it's actually a decant I think it's like 7ml 8ml something like that this one it's Simone Andreoli Sumplosion I think um, I've heard about this perfume from Arlene Delicious Delight, she said this is the perfect type of scent, like summer type of scent. And I have to say, I really like it, okay? It's very tropical, exotic, creamy scent. I really like it, but it's not... Mm, I will not pay the full price for this, I have to be honest. It's very nice. I think if you live in places where you have hot weather all the time or more than one week like is the case here in uh, Manchester you can buy this one but for me the, the, there's no point like I have so many fruity fragrances it's a fruity one very exotic exotic creamy fruity it's a nice one I really like it but I'm happy just to have a decant I'm not gonna buy a full bottle of this one so Simone Andreoli Sumplosion the next one that we have in here it's again from Simone Andreoli and this this is good like this yes i'm gonna buy a full bottle do i need this not sure but i really like it this one is malibu this i'm pretty sure yeah this one definitely has coconut and i think it has rum or something like that it smells like it doesn't smell like a pina colada it smells like a coconut drink yeah, it's some type of rum in it. Oh, it's so good. It's like coconut, but it's like... It's a sweet coconut. With a different take of a coconut. It's not your Santa lotion type of coconut. It's not your green coconut. It's... Oh, it's so good. It's honestly so good. I'm pretty sure it has rum in it. It smells very exotic in the same time. Why do I need to like this? I don't need another coconut. I have so many coconut perfumes and yes, I'm gonna make a video with the best coconut scents because I have like so many, but this, this might be the best one. This might be the best one. Um, I got the Strawber sizes from Unique, Uniku. I've worked with them in the past. I just, I, I bought them like, I, I just bought them, okay? It's like subscription service, I'm gonna leave the link in the description box. This is not sponsored, they didn't send to me anything. I worked with them in the past, but this, um, I just subscribe to them because they have a good variety of perfumes, um, more exactly niche perfumes, and yeah, it was basically the only place where I could find uh, Simone Andreoli, so... <sighs> this is good. This is good. This, this one's a yes. I don't know exactly the notes, but this one, it's a yes. It's a good, 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 good scent. Uh, Malibu from Simone Andreoli. Next one. Next one we have from Emi Khalif. You know that I love Emi Khalif. We have Eden Force. Is it Eden Force? Yes, Eden Force. I wasn't sure about the name. I really like the bottle of this. And uh, who got me interested in this perfume? It's Yana from The Scented. She said that this one smells very similar to Gris Dior. And I really like Gris Dior and I really want Gris Dior. But I also really like Emika Leaf, so I wanted to see which one I, I prefer. This, I would say, again, I have no idea what the notes are. This, I would say, is more balsamic and slightly more 
masculine maybe in the opening it has a balsamic masculine cologne type of vibe in the opening but the dry down it's very similar to um, Gridior. I have to agree with her it's very similar to Gridior. I do like this. Do I need a full bottle of this? I'm not really sure. It has something almost salty and maybe some bergamot. I have no idea. But it smells, it kind of smells like a waterfall, something like that. Like you have the perfume, you have Gridior and then you have a waterfall and then maybe you have some bergamot and then something balsamic as well different type of scent like different scent yes it's similar to gridior but like it, it's a different scent I, I can't tell you oh it's your typical um gourmand or citrus perfume or uh, white floral perfume no it's different i do like it i do like it i think you should try this one but i do really like it not sure if i like this one more than greedy or but they're both good this one it's more like with a twist, you know, it's, it's different. I like it. So, Emi Khalif, Eden Falls. Next one that we have here is a very popular one. And I'm not the biggest fan. I have to be super honest. This one is Annie from Nishane. This I've tested one, 100 ways, 100, 100 silent ways. I tested that one. I really like that one. And... I knew that I'm not gonna be like crazy about this because people are saying that this one has something has something green in the opening. Why this keeps getting stuck into my nose? Okay, let, let's do it like that. I like it. See, I like it. It's a good vanilla, but it has something green. Like, I would like to have maybe a 20 ml of this. It's not like I dislike it, okay? Even though it has something green, I'm not the biggest fan of green things or minty. It's almost like green, like green minty. It's a nice one, but it's not for me. Like, this is a type of scent that you need to try first, okay? Because it's not just a vanilla, okay? It's not just a vanilla scent. It's a vanilla with a green minty touch in the opening that it's still present in the dry down. It's nice. It's just nice. But I'm not crazy about it. So yeah, Nishane Ani. Another one that I really wanted to try for the longest time. It was just impossible to find a sample, but someone was actually selling. So yeah, I had to have it. Uh, this one is Mango Skin from Wilhelm Parfumerie. I think I pronounced that correct. I hope so. This, like the name suggests, is supposed to be a mango scent. So I really like mango. Yeah, it's like a very sweet, realistic mango. Do I need this? I don't think so. Is it a very good one? Yes. If you're like crazy about mango scents. Yeah, it, it's, it's sweet, but it's not very, like, it's not overly sweet, okay? At least in my opinion. It has something also a little bit refreshing maybe in the background. But it's mostly a sweet mango scent. That's it. It's a very good one, but I don't think I need this. Mm, do I need this? No, I don't need this. Yeah, it's a very good one. Check this one out. Uh, I've never tested anything else from Vil Vil I can't talk. Wilhelm Parfumery. Um, I've heard that they have other good ones, but I've never tested them, so I don't know. But this one is a good one. If you like mango, this is what you get. Uh, yeah, Mango Skin from Wilhelm. Another mango scent, because I don't know why I was on a mango kick. Um, this one is Mango Manga from Montal. This, if I like Mango Skin, I can really say the same thing about this. It's weird. Like, yeah, you're getting the mango, but then you're getting that weird plasticky thing that Montal sometimes has. For me, Montal doesn't have that plastic you note know, all the time and um, I'm more annoyed about Mancera that is a brand by the way uh, Mancera is I don't know for me it's not working on my skin it has something very scratchy with Montal most of them I really like them and I'm not getting that plasticky scratchy thing but in this it smells like burnt plastic and some mango no no 
no if you want a mango one and um, i know this one is more expensive way more expensive um but i do prefer this one like much much more so mango skin it's obviously like, it's way 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 better than mango manga at least in my opinion okay i i don't like this one so mango manga from uh montal uh, no. no another scent another scent for the summer that I wanted to try for the longest time because people are raving about this and it's very expensive it's Tabit 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 from Tiziana Terenzi I like Tiziana Terenzi but I've noticed that they have this uh, Kirke Andromeda Cassiopeia like, type of DNA like fruity exotic fruits like passion fruit that type in like a lot of perfumes and I want I don't want the same perfume over and over and over again this it has a similar vibe to Kirke I would say it's way better I think it has a sand note I know it sounds weird I know that it has a sand note not because I'm like smelling it now uh, but I looked for the notes but you can actually smell the sand it, it, it's weird it doesn't smell aquatic, it doesn't smell like you're at the beach, it smells like you're wearing a fruity perfume, very creamy, very expensive, and you have your covered in sand. It's a good one. Like I really like it. I really like the bottle. If I can find it for a good, good price, I I might buy it. But I have right now I have Kirke. I have Mula Mula, they're not the same, but they're in the same family. And I have Strinina from Quinto Canto, that's like sister company of Tiziana Terenzi. And the, that one is just slightly more citrusy comparing to the other two. This one is more creamy, it's very warm. It's very, very good, but it has a similar DNA. It has a similar DNA and I just cannot justify spending my money on another fruity summer type of scent. It's a very good one though. This one it's a maybe. If I can find, again, if I can find, if you can find this for a very good price, let me know on my Instagram, please. Because it's good. It's good, 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 but I can't, I, I can't justify spending that much money. So, Tabit from Tiziana Terenzi. The next one that we have in here, it's actually when I bought my Ex Nihilo, um, what's the name? Explicit. I went to Selfridges and I was testing for one hour probably other perfumes and this one just stole my heart and they gave me like this massive sample i'm so like glad and thankful thankful to the people in selfridges thank you thank you thank you um yeah this one it's an expensive one it's a very good one and i want this but i can i can't justify spending that much money i'm talking about it's not written anywhere uh, they basically made a sample for me this one is from bodicia i think it's a brand and this is bodicious or something like that this, I told them I like good months, okay? And they gave me this. This smells... This is very similar to Sulmona from Coquilete. But this one has, it's, it has almond, definitely, and it has cherry. It has lots of cherry. It smells like the most sweet gourmand delicious edible cherry almond cake i would say it smells absolutely divine like this is i love this so much it's not too sweet it might be too sweet not for me it's not too sweet it's not artificial it's not it's so good I tried add other scents from Bodicia, I think this is how you pronounce the name. Um, and I liked quite a few, but these, like these, there is only one problem. This, uh, this one in particular comes just in a 100ml, and I don't need that, and it's £265. But it's so good. If anyone is selling, I know, partial bottle, contact me. You have my Instagram, you have my email, if you're selling a partial bottle of this, because I want this so much. Go to Selfridges, go to Sephora, go wherever they have Bodicia, 
and test bodicious. Ask them just like to spray on your skin bodicious because this is so good. You need you need in your life to try this, okay? If you like cherry and almond, you need to try this. So yeah, bodicia from bodicious from bodicia. I can't remember the name, I don't have the name here. Anyway, that one, it's amazing. Amazing. Another one that I got when I bought my explicit from Ex Nihilo. This one is Mask Therapy from Initio. This one, I believe, is the newest one that they have. And it's nice. It's just nice. It's a clean mask. Mm. A little bit fruity. Slightly. It's a nice one. It's nothing wow. Like, if I would smell this... I will not think that this one is niche. I will not think that this one is that expensive. Yes, it's smell. You can smell the quality. You can smell it's. It's a very quality. Like, it's very well blended. Okay, it's very well blended. It doesn't smell like something cheap. It smells expensive, but it's just meh. At least for me, it's a nice one, but I'm not impressed. So mask therapy, meh. That's it. The next one that I have in here, it's one that I've seen on Fragrantica, I've seen the notes, and I was like, oh my god, I need to try this, and it's not that good. This one was supposed to have, like, banana and coconut, and, like, the notes, I'm gonna put the notes for this one, because the notes just look amazing. This one is Bon Talenti from, I can't remember the name, picture in here, Bon Talenti. The notes are everything like if i would ever in this life create a fragrance like that fragrance we have the same notes or almost the same the opening of this it's so good okay it's good you're getting like ah, this creamy coconutty banana fruity it's good but what I didn't like about this is that on my skin at least it didn't project and after I don't know like five minutes it was just like a sweet thing, like something sweet. The opening is really good. I do like the opening. I do like it. But I don't know. I don't know. It's just annoying because the dry down is not as good as the opening. See now on paper I like it more. Like, on paper, it projects better. I can smell it properly. Because on my skin, I was actually like, struggling to smell it. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. I need to test this one more. But the notes, like, the notes sound better than the actual perfume. So, yeah. Bon Talenti, it's a maybe, but probably a no. And the last two perfumes that we have in here, that are both from Ex Nihilo. And, and I actually got the samples when I went to Pika, to Selfridges, and she got her ex nihilo and i actually have a sample of her perfume i think it's called wood something again i don't have the name here and this is very her style but i still really like it like, it's not something that if you give to me this yes please thank you she explained on her channel because she posted a video she explained on her channel so well how this one smells it's a wood fragrance yes but it's not a dark wood it's not a scratchy wood it smells like an exotic wood it's weird it's so good like i've we've tried all of uh, their perfumes and not even one like not even a single one was a no like, all of them were just so good it doesn't matter if they're like, I don't know, citrusy or fruity or dark. I don't know how they're making them, but they're all so good. So I highly, highly recommend you checking the, them out because they have something for everyone. They have dark ones, they have fruity ones, they have uh, floral ones, they have uh, citrusy ones. They have so many good perfumes. I really like this company. This is good. Like, this is good. This is not for me, but this is good. Mm. it's not a, that type of food that i don't like usually i'm not the biggest fan of food but this this is good so if you like food and you want a different type of scent you don't you're tired of vanilla wood rose combo you're tired of that 
check this one out check this one out because this one is good good and the last one that we have in here it's again from ex nihilo and this one was my second favorite after explicit this one is amber sky this it's so good and it's so damn expensive why do you have to be so expensive i have no idea so we actually we're gonna do this okay not wasting this because it is i think it's like 20 pounds in this bottle um it's very expensive like normally the 50 ml is 165 pounds this is like over 200 for the 50 ml i'm not the biggest fan of amber either I like amber, but not in all of the perfumes. Not all type of amber. But these, this is just the perfect. Just this is just the perfect one. I can't spend that much money. I cannot. But if you can, okay, check this one out. If you like amber fragrances and if you can spend like 200 and something for a 50 ml bottle, this is so good. This is so good it's like sexy and dark and oh it, it's so good it has something sweet in it that all so well blended and it all smells so rich and oh i'm just obsessed with this house honestly i'm just obsessed with this house <sighs> yeah it's 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 just amazing so amber sky from ex nihilo it's our last perfume and that was it for today guys that was it please let me know in the comments down below if you ever tried any of these perfumes if you like them if you don't if i should try any other perfumes from i don't know niche houses that nobody talks about or very popular ones that i've never tested and yeah that was it that was it for today thanks so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to put a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'm gonna see you in my next one Bye bye